hi everyone i hope you guys are doing great um in this video i would be talking about um the changes that you need to make in your express entry profile before and after you get the ita so before you get an invitation to apply or before you get the ita you can still make the changes so for instance you give an ielts test again and you think that your score has improved you can update it or you changed your job or anything that you have already mentioned in your profile and there is a change in that then you can still keep on updating it in your profile and you can still stay active before you get an ita now after you get an ita things become little difficult how because whenever you get an ita your current profile which was already there is recorded in the global case management system that means the immigration department or the concerned authorities they basically have got your existing profile that might not be updated now it is up to the applicant to update the your existing profile and to make sure that everything mentioned by you is up to date please remember if any changes made to your it uh, profile before you get uh, your it it's easy because nothing is being recorded as such and you can update it there and then but the real problem comes when you have got the it and your profile is still not updated so if ircc finds out that you have misrepresented yourself or you have not provided the correct information then you might be banned for applying uh, to this immigration um, system for a period of 5 years so if you do any any such thing then it becomes very difficult for you because the decision can be taken against you so for for instance you got the it right you have two options either you can decline it if for some reason you're not able to accept it for whatsoever reason or you can choose not to reply right so when you decline it means you go back to the express entry hall and you can wait for the next it for whatsoever reason but if even after a period of 90 days you send no response to uh, new no response against your ita so it will expire and your profile will no, no longer be in the express entry pool now what you have to do is now you have to reply reapply again you have to build up a new profile so remember if you decline i know it's tough but you will be at least in the pool but if you choose not to reply anything then you'll not be in the pool so there are times when you are not able to submit everything because you are not probably able to gather everything right for some reason you cannot submit all the documents to the government so you do have an option there are times when you can submit a letter of explanation loe wherein you can just let the government know that these are the reasons which are which is because i'm not able to submit so and so documents which is why it is difficult for me to complete whatever mandate guidelines are and the government will be assessing everything case by case as in the immigration officers will be assessing everything case by case and in case you are lucky they let you know and probably they'll extend the time or whatsoever but at least you're keeping the government in loop it is better <coughs> i'm sorry than providing faulty or wrong information because it can obviously go against you like Mm, not able to apply for another five years or something, so it's always better. Or if you are declining for some reason, then in the meanwhile, maybe you can improve your English scores, or in, you can do other things like maybe learn French if you're fine with it and give exams, and then you can boost up the score. Or say, for instance, probably you completed the third year if of your work X, and your points will increase. So there's certain periods like how your point also increase on the basis of your work X. but also make sure and keep a track of your age because um, there are different milestones in which the points decreases so for instance i think when you turn 30 your points go down by 5 so just make sure you do all the calculations it's always okay to decline rather than to leave an it unattended and if you want to make any changes please don't wait act rapidly act, act honestly proactively and don't wait for something to happen if you know there's a there's a life event that has changed and it can affect your express entry profile then please update it as soon as you can so yeah so that's all about it uh, you should always remember to make the key changes before receiving an it and even if it's after it please let the government know what is happening around so that you are uh, in no way impacted or affected uh, in a wrong sense right so yeah that's all about it keep watching and do subscribe for more updates take care bye bye